Hey Pittsburgh, I'm here at the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. It's a yearly event here at Shenley Park. As you can see, you can see the Pittsburgh skyline in the background. Um, such a great family friendly place to bring whoever you want, including your dog. Pack a picnic, bring lots of water, it's always hot. You can um, set up a little area and enjoy the day. Can't wait to show you around. The Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix has so much to offer. There's um, three large fields of all different kind of cars to take a look at. Uh, right now I'm in the European, the Vintage European section, which happens to be my favorite car. But there's a vendor section where you can walk through. There's the actual race that you can see. There's so much to do. There's a shuttle that can bring you from the parking lots up to the field, so it's pretty light and easy on you. Um, and just a ton of fun. Quiet. <laughs> he has a Napoleon complex. So funny story about the DeLorean. This is my husband's favorite attraction. He loves to see these. If he could own one someday, he would. He loves Back to the Future. And him and his friend used to wear a hole in the tape, if you know what that means, on a v VHS when you rewind it over and over again, watching this one scene where he thought he could be the cool Marty McFly and do the uh, electric guitar and it blows him back. So, this is a little quip from his childhood here. Good? <laughs> yeah, put him in it. <laughs> so when you come here, there are a bunch of different places you can park. You can um, try the Wild West side and park somewhere on the street. And just make sure you don't get, you're not in a tow-away zone. You can also park in a really big lot across from Phipps Conservatory. That's about 20 bucks. And then there's another one around by CMU. That's around four or five. Parking's hard to get, you gotta get here early, um, but it's worth it. And just remember there's shuttle stations everywhere, so you can just ride an air-conditioned bus up to the top of the hill. And they let Wyatt ride with me. So we have a lot of cool local vendors here. This is a local um, coffee brewery slash roastery. Um, from the area, so I'm going to stop and get an iced coffee right now. <laughs> this is Chad, and he's going to tell us a little bit about where you can find his coffee at here in Pittsburgh. Hey, I'm, the, I'm Chad. I'm the general manager of Zeke's over in East Liberty, uh, 6015 Penn Avenue. We have a cafe and a bakery. We also roast uh, in East Liberty about a six-minute walk away from our cafe. Uh, you can find us at uh, Giant Eagles and Whole Foods, but you can also find our beans at about 40 other boutique small cafes. Uh, around all around Pittsburgh. How many batches do you do a week? Um, tons. tons? Uh, we, we're a small batch roastery. We roast about 10 pounds at a time. Okay. Uh, so tons. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time and it was great getting some coffee. Sure. <laughs> thanks. Okay. So this is really cool behind the scenes stuff here. You don't have to be a VIP to see this. You can just take the bus to the start, um, start finish line, walk up the hill and you can come up here and see where all these cars are getting ready to get staged to go on to race. Super cool.